Hello out there, YouTube. So, before this game comes out on the Nintendo 64 expansion pass on the Nintendo Switch, I wanted to go ahead and make a video showing you some few tips about the game to help get you started for new players, because there are a few things worth going over that'll give you a, a little bit more help. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you a few things here on Spiral Mountain, then we'll go into Gruntilda's Lair. I don't expect this video to take very long, but I hope that it helps you in some fashion. So, let's go ahead and get started. So this guy right here is Bottles. Every time you enter a level, he has a few new moves for you. Here in Spiral Mountain, he has a lot of moves to teach you, and it's basically the tutorial. If you want to take that training, you press the A button. If you want to skip it, you can hit B. If it's your first time playing Banjo-Kazooie, I highly recommend you go ahead and do the tutorial. You'll get some honeycombs for your trouble. I can show you where the honeycombs are one way or the other, but I'd still recommend doing it. For the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and decline the training. Also, during cutscenes where characters are talking, if you hold down the A button, or I guess it would be B on the Switch, uh, you can skip the character's dialogue, or at least speed it up. Alright, let me show you around Spiral Mountain real quick. Okay, so here we are in Spiral Mountain. I defeated an enemy, and here's a piece of health. An interesting tip about the health is it won't disappear, so you can leave it there as long as you want. If you go ahead and take damage, you can come and pick it up later. If you really want to pick it up right away, be my guest. Enemies don't respawn until you pick up that health, though. So feel free to knock out enemies and then leave the health laying on the ground, because they only drop one, and if they respawn, to my recollection, enemies will not respawn with extra health. Now that over there is a hollow honeycomb. We're going to head right over there, and I'll explain what that is. The reason you want to do the tutorial is you get one of these for each move you learn and master. When you collect six... They merge together and you'll get an extra piece of health on your health meter. The game will explain it as you pick it up. See? So there's six here in Spiral Mountain and I recommend doing the tutorial because it'll be easy to find all six that way. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead and we'll go right into Gruntilda's Lair and I'll go ahead and explain that stuff. Um, also, if you want, pay attention, there should be an annotation on the screen now telling you where to skip to. If you want to skip the tutorial and just collect the six honeycombs, I'll show you where all six are. Four of them are easy to find, two of them are a little bit hidden. So feel free to check that out if you want. Okay, so here we are in Gruntilda's lair. We're going to go this way, and there's our first jigsaw piece. These are your main collectibles in Banjo-Kazooie. They're very similar to stars in Mario 64, or any Mario 3D title for that matter. Uh, there's 10 in each level, and there's 10 in Gruntilda's Lair. So we're going to go ahead and collect our first one, and I'm going to show you what to do with it. Okay, so we found our first jigsaw puzzle, and we're going to put our first jigsaw piece inside of it. As you progress through the game, the puzzles will require more pieces, and they become more hidden within Gruntilda's lair. The last one in particular is kind of tricky to find. I'm not going to show you where it is in this video, but if you need to look up a different video to find it, do whatever you need to do. Have fun the way you want to have fun. It's your game. It's your playthrough. Enjoy it. So I'm going to go ahead and let Bottles finish it up. And then we're going to go ahead and jump into Mumbo's Mountain, and I'm going to explain a few things in there. Stay tuned! Alright, so here we are on the first stage. Let me go ahead and show you this. We're going to go to totals. And this shows you what you have to collect on each level. So there are 100 music notes, 10 jigsaw pieces, and 2 honeycombs. You can collect all of these items the first time you go into a stage. So if you want to, you can find the moves that Bottles has for you, and then immediately collect all the items in an area before moving on to the next one. Do you have to do it that way? No. If you just want to get enough to move on to the next level, you can do that. But the further you get in the game, the more jigsaw pieces you'll need, and you need quite a few of them, I believe 90, before you can fight the final boss. So it is worth your time to just collect everything in a stage before you move on to the next one. Alright, these guys are Jinjos. There are five of them in each stage. They don't show up on the total screen. They do show up on the pause menu, though. So you want to find all five of them, because when you do, 
that's going to unlock one of the 10 jigsaw puzzle pieces. So it's definitely worth your time to find all of them. Like I said, you can complete the entire stage in its entirety the first time you arrive. You don't have to find moves and then go back to other levels. There's really no backtracking unless you want there to be. All right, the last thing I want to talk about, these are music notes. There are 100 in each stage, as I showed you on the total screen. These are needed to open up doors throughout the game. There's 100 in each level, and I believe a total of 900 in the game. Finding all 900 is definitely worth it, because when you get to the end of the game, you can use them to open some special doors to get some special items. I won't say any more than that. This is spoiler-free, but it's definitely worth your time to find them all. If you do get stuck and you feel like you can't finish a level, feel free to go play a different one. How could I forget about this character? This is Bruntilda, Bruntilda's sister, I think that was her name, but she's a very important character. When you find her throughout the Bruntilda's lair, and it's definitely worth your time to explore, she'll give you three tips about Bruntilda. Write these down, or at the very least commit them to memory, because there's 20 different tips, and they each have three different answers, and the game randomizes them each file. Not just each game, but each file on the game. So. You want to collect these, and you want to memorize them, or at least write them down, whatever you want to do, because when you reach the end of the game, you're going to need this information that she has. I tried to skip it last time I played the game, and I paid for it by dying a whole lot of times at the final area. So, again, find her. She's hidden throughout the lair, so it's worth your time to explore. When you find her, she'll give you a tip, write it down, memorize it, do whatever you have to do. If you do that, when you get to the very end of the game, it's going to help you, I promise. 